Hello, I'm Pastor Nathan Keith at Trinity Lutheran Church in Laramie, Wyoming. I'm up at Mirror Lake, up in the Snowy Range. It's a beautiful place on top of the mountain to come to kind of get a sense of our place in the world. <laughs> These mountains are grand. I know some of you have even climbed those mountains. It's still on my bucket list. But today I want to talk about reflection. For those of you who've been up here, at some of the times that you've taken pictures of Muir Lake with the glass, the water is just glass and you can see the reflection of the mountain. I was hoping for that today, but it's still a beautiful day on top of the mountain. And so as I look out today, I'm thinking about reflections. I was given a painting when I was ordained and it's called Reflect the Glory and there's a bird flying across the water and the reflection of the bird on the water looks like a fish symbol and for those of you who know your Christian symbols, the fish symbol is often an image of being a follower of Jesus. And so I'm wondering what kind of reflection your life has been giving lately. You see, we look into the mirror every time before we leave the house, don't we? <laughs> we want to make sure our hair is perfect. We want to make sure that we are dressed and ready to go. But what kind of reflection is your life giving lately? Has it been a reflection of hope, a reflection of despair, a reflection of promise, a reflection of faith? You see, there's a few scriptures that are coming to mind and the Apostle Paul says, do not be conformed. But don't let this world conform you unless it's up here in mere lake. Let it transform you. You see, in 1 John it says, love as he first loved us. That may the love of our God be the love that you share for your friends, towards your family, towards your co-workers, towards the world. It's really funny how your children sometimes are a reflection of you. Those of you who know of us, we have three kids and sometimes those kids start doing and saying things that are just like you. And most of the time, it's a beautiful thing to hear them pick up on a saying that you say often or that you didn't know you said often and they start saying it. beautiful thing to be a reflection, a reflection of someone you love, a reflection of someone who loves you. Maybe that's the beautiful gift of being a part of the family. That your reflection, though there are many different reflections, your reflection is still the gift of one. And maybe that's the gift of being a part of a faith community here at Trinity Lutheran that we are so different, we are so varied, we have different understandings of who God is and how God works in the world. But together we are one reflection. A reflection for Laramie and this community that we live in. On a beautiful calm day have you ever looked upon the water and seeing your own reflection. I suppose it's one of the earliest things that human beings have used to see their reflection. And could you imagine seeing your reflection in the water for the first time? You see, when I look into the water today and I see my own reflection, I see the reflection, yes, the image that I have, the image that you see, but there's also a different kind of reflection, the reflection of my parents, the reflection of my family members. And sometimes I can look into my face and see their face. And their reflection continues to be a part of my life. It's also a wonderful gift that we are created in God's image. So the image of our God, the reflection then of our God is also upon our own lives. 
And maybe that's the reflection that I'm inviting you to ponder today. That the reflection of our God is also a reflection of us, a reflection of you. That your life is a reflection of God in this world. And so as you go about your day, about your week, and about your summer, may the gift of God's reflection upon your life be a reflection of hope and promise and love and joy.